One of my favorite warm-ups, it's very simple because it's based in paradiddles. Uh, it's sort of like a paradiddle pyramid, but I actually start with a single paradiddle, and then I go to a double, triple, quadruple, quintuple paradiddle, and then back down, quad, triple, double, single. And I just go back and forth with that. And I do it at different tempos, and it's a great warm-up. Uh, I started off doing them slow because sometimes it's harder to do these things slowly and evenly, right? So, five, and back down, one, two, three, four, and then three, and then two, and then one. And then back up. Five, two, three, four, five a diddle. One, two, three, four, five. Back down, three, four, a diddle. Three, four, a diddle. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. Uh, uh. All right? So then up to speed, I can do a little faster. Uh, I guess my idea with these, with these uh, rudimental warm-ups is to not just play them as sort of straight um, technical muscular exercises, but also to include sort of a musical swing to it or a musical uh, attitude to it. So that is why um, I treat the accents the way I do and, and the uh, turnaround with, with the double. So at, a, at, a, at this tempo, so it'll be. When I'm, when I'm going a little faster, the strokes aren't as wide. You know, um, because I don't, I don't need to, you know, uh, ex exert or waste a lot of energy uh, when it's time to play things faster. I just need to focus on the sound, uh, feel the bounce of the sticks, and, um, and, and listen for the, uh, the evenness of the tone and the sticking, right? So if I did it a little faster. <laughs> it kind of has a it has a groove because you also sing along with what you play. Yeah, it's good, and and I think that's a great habit to get into. Actually, um, I, I I do that when I'm soloing because I'm I'm connecting um, my thought with what I'm feeling, and if I'm singing it and playing it, then then I'm I'm kind of moving it out of the sort of you know a solo of just playing licks or things that you always practice. You know, for me, what the most exciting solos are the ones where you're taking chances and you're exploring the moment and the possibilities. And so that requires you to step out a little bit out of a comfort zone sometimes. But if you're hearing it, if you can hear it and you can sing it and you can play it or you can connect your, your emotion to the motion, you know what I mean? Now, now we're, we're doing something um, uh, compelling for the, for the listener, yeah. hopefully. <laughs> really, if the, these, these rudiments uh, should become the building blocks to your expression at the end of the day. They are the things that help you move around the instrument efficiently and easily, right? But that's their function, really, you know? And so, but in, in the heat of, of imp improvisation, um, if you've developed that freedom in your hands, well now you can kind of like play your ideas from wherever you are on the set because you've developed the ability to lead with the left hand or lead with the right hand 
or you know, uh, wherever you need to be on the kit, you're, you're in, a, in the flow of that. Mm -hmm. So that's really important. And it's funny, even after 50 years, I'm still you know, trying to get comfortable and stay comfortable with yeah. moving around the kit, especially with, with you know, coming left uh, from right to left, yeah. leading with the left hand. You know, I'm still, you know, for all these years, still working on that. It, but it, I think it's, it's keeping those, um, those sort of neural pathways right. open so that your, 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 you know, your, your brain knows to connect that command, you know, when, you're, when, you, when you say, okay, we want to go like this, you know, and the muscle memory of where the drums are, you know, so I'm trying to, to really connect all of that, the position of the drums, the height of these drums, coming back down to the snare, you know, so I'm trying to program all of that into the, into the movement, into the muscle memory. And, and, and the only way to do it is to re keep repeating it. Yeah. The more, right, the more we repeat it, the more we, we program it, yeah. right? A lot of my warm up does involve sitting down and just sort of combining singles, doubles, uh, flams, ratamacues, you know, all of these things into an improvisational thing that if, if, if I'm doing it right, I figure out a way to, to alternate the phrase as well, so it'll start with the right hand, the next time it comes around it'll start with the left hand, but again, sometimes it takes me a moment to, to stumble into that, you know? But even at something as simple like that, but then... Ha, 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 ha.